So I wanted to make a video today about uh, painful fingers that you get from training um, Jiu Jitsu and MMA. Um, I apprenticed in myself both Gi and No Gi and have tried to find solutions for why I was getting pain in my fingers, um, swelling in the knuckles and that kind of stuff. And quite honestly all I was getting was, okay, tape your fingers and then um, rest up. And I, I just didn't find that to be um, a decent enough solution for what I wanted. I didn't want to rest, I didn't you know, want to stop training. So. What I wanted to do is just share some thoughts with you guys and maybe you'll learn a little bit from what I've learned. So this finger here is still slightly swollen, just there, only slightly. And the reason why I want to talk about this finger is this finger I, sp I, I fractured specifically doing MMA. Um, and on this side here was a massive bulbous section. Now I didn't realize at the time I fractured it. I, I was a bit stupid, didn't go to the hospital, but then they realized they x-rayed it, fractured it, and then all they did was a normal buddy it together, stick it together, let it heal up. And then what I found was that I could then couldn't do this with my finger. My finger was stuck to this sort of level. And even when I pressed quite hard, it wouldn't shut. And that was mainly because of swelling here. And what I realized from the swelling here was what I got was scar tissue buildup. Now, the scar tissue buildup really has to be broken down. It's quite a painful process. Quite honestly, you can find other videos on, on dealing with scar tissue, but basically what it is, it's about applying pressure here in specific areas on the tendon side, really, the, sorry, the ligament side. So the tendons tend to run this way. I mean, to be clear, I'm not a doctor, but um, tendons run this way, and then the damage was predominantly on the ligament side. So what I found was that over time, once I, I was pressing here, I tended to do it in a sauna where my fingers were quite warm, um, pressing down here and going through a fairly sort of um, painful process, quite honestly, of breaking down the scar tissue. And now, as you can see, my finger would almost uh, shut there, whereas before it wouldn't go anywhere close to that. Um, I also get a lot of problems with this finger here, with my knuckle here. Uh, I get a lot of uh, pain in there. And um, that wasn't through, through um, fracture or anything, it's just general pain from grabbing the gi and when the gi gets pulled out of your hand it tends to pull on my little finger for whatever reason, the way I grab the gi maybe or something like that. So yeah, I get, to, I get quite a lot of problems with there. And there was a video that I saw about how if you pull, pull the knuckle away slightly and then turn, then that would alleviate some of the pain maybe because there was a, 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 an alignment issue inside this knuckle here. And so I tried icing, I tried all sorts of different things to try and get the to get the swelling to come down, I tried Epsom salts, but that really didn't work. So again, I ended up with scar tissue on this particular finger. Um, and once I started working the scar tissue again on the insides and on the outside there, then I found that I could then, after a while, could then flex my finger properly. So again, it's still not quite right. You can see there just about, it doesn't quite shut. So I've still got some work to do with that, but it's a lot, lot better. I have some functionality now. So that obviously, is what to do once it starts happening. The problem is that all I was seeing was, okay, we'll tape your fingers up so you get the cross white tape. But the reality is as soon as you get sweaty, that stuff just falls off. So it's really not a lot of use, quite honestly. So what I've purchased, and to be fair, I'm not, I'm not like sponsored by these guys, was a pair of these things from Luta Gear. And basically what it is, it's like it's neoprene, so it's like wetsuit material. And all you basically do is you slip your fingers inside the like the little glove let's call it like fingerless glove and then that gives you full flexibility and functionality to be able to grab and it buddies your finger together really really nicely and you can buy them for all different kinds of things you can buy for these two so you can have for this finger and this finger buddy together you could buy you can buy them in threes and stuff like this but this is for sure the best thing that i found i bought it off amazon i forget what it was now it wasn't wasn't expensive maybe like 10 15 dollars um, but yeah, I found these to be a really, really decent way in which to solve the problem of, instead of taping. Um, the other thing that I just wanted to share with you guys was that in, in my way of strengthening is what I got was a peg and I was pressing on the peg in between these to try and get some functionality back into my finger because so much time of damaging in and around these ligaments, I found that it was just degrading and getting weaker and weaker. So I put, pushing on the end of a peg there to help alleviate some of the pain. So there you go, that's my video on what I found out from um, training JITS and uh, hopefully maybe some of this stuff can be of use to you.